Hi friends, it's this here. I am excited to be sharing my ideas journal with all of you. Uh, they are called ideas journal or people call them by other names. Um, but, uh, this is, uh, this is mine. I started this one a long, long time ago. I think it was when I first started making journals and I did this with a, um, easy binding technique. As you can see here, I do have a video showing you guys some easy binding ideas for beginner journal makers, which I will link below if you wanted to see it. Uh, but I wanted to do it this way because this way I can add pages and take pages away as I work in it. I have added this, you know, little trims and stuff on the side as well, which I did that one a long time ago. And so let me just show you guys inside. So it's an old book cover. I left the inside of the book cover like it was. I just added some duct tape to the spine to reinforce it. And then my signatures are all removable. So it's like a flowish style journal where you can take everything away and add things to it. I love that design. And this is just things that I, I've either done in my journals or I have seen done in journals. So for example, the top left here with my little cancelled stamp embellishment. I did this one a long time ago as well and I do have a how-to which I will link below if you're interested but I love coming up with that idea because I had so many cancelled stamps. Here's just a little collage pocket with some words and some images and of course the fiber from the other pages coming out. So I'll link as much as I can below if um, anything I have. This tuck over here, uh, not my idea, but I did like it, so I kind of did it when I saw it, and it was from Rock Paper Treasure. So I also try and write down the name of whoever's video I saw it last. <laughs> this way I just, you know, you can kind of um, let everyone know where you saw it. This one, I don't remember where I saw it, but it's using um, leftover bits to make a little journaling card. And that top part there was from a Daphne's Diary magazine. Here's just a little collage with some handwriting and an image. This pocket here is made with a Daphne's Diary magazine page and it's like pocket there, pocket there. And then you can easily put a pocket on the side as well. <clears throat> I forgot who I just saw do this, but um, not my idea. Here, this one was from Wendy's Journal Adventure, I think. And she did this with like Tim Holtz and stuff. She did it on, um, she printed images out on, uh, oh my gosh, I forgot the name of what she printed it on, but I couldn't do that. So I kind of did my own version. This one here is, uh, I did this one a long time ago as well, and it's like being able to use an envelope, but fully use the envelope. So I, you see how I've attached it here. Uh, you can fully use the envelope without having to fold it. So I did it with that in a smaller version as well. So I think that's kind of cool. I may start doing that again. This here is a little pocket, um, and then the page just folds out for extra journaling. So you could do that with anything you want. Then the little pocket is there. You could put it on the side as well. The other side, it's a belly band and I just did the little, um, paper punch with the Martha Stewart, um, decorative punch there. So I think that's nice. And then this one's one of those little full envelope fold out thingies. I think I saw Paula Lemon start this a while back. I think it was her idea. This is just a pocket with some collaging, a book page pocket. Uh, this is how uh, we normally put our envelopes in, our, you know, um, junk mail envelopes. Again, with the Martha Stewart punch, just to give the um, pocket a little um, embellishing, sorry, the page. Um, here, another pocket. And then this one flips out, so you can journal in there, or it could be decorative paper, whatever you want to use. As you can see here, it's um, why I call it a flowish journal because I can take every page out or add more pages in as I like. This one here is just a little double tuck to hold your items in. Um, and it, again, most of these uh, things that I've done are just rough. So I don't take the time to, you know, cut out the little notches and stuff because it's just the idea I want to get down on paper quick like this one. Just a ripped up piece of book page with an image on top. This one here is a double belly band. So you've got the book page that I did there and then a little bit of um, vintage lace. This origami envelope is, I saw it on Marie Bondel's channel. So I kept that there to remind me to make those. This I saw at Carolyn's Craft Tree. She sent me some actually, so I got inspired by them. So I made my own version there. 
and then this here on the right the envelope I have a tutorial on how to make these but it's like triple pockets one two and then three and then depending on how you attach it to your page you can have a side pocket as well on either side so I'll link that tutorial below if you haven't seen it um, I did stitch this one but you don't have to use a sewing machine this is from my collage paper that I've been doing with fabrics and uh, vintage laces and trims so that could be a belly band it could be a pocket um, but I just like that it's unique because I've used my own fabrics and ribbons, etc. This I saw a dewdrop gable, so it's just using book page and making little pockets like this, just kind of freehanding it. But be careful when you use book pages. Um, I try to use gardening book pages or cooking book pages um, because you don't want to have weird stuff written on a page when you've done a journal. <laughs> That's a tip. This I did a little while back as well. I do have a tutorial on how to make this um, photo flip up. I forgot what I called it, but really you can just add photos to it or journal to it. For this one, I added a little pocket on the back. And again, it's just um, a flip up thing that, um, that you can do. I will link that tutorial below. This again with a little envelope, a little pocket, some extra little bits of paper. And then you can actually use the little envelope there. So that's just... Um, Putting that one together. This one is like so many pockets into one thing and I saw this at uh, Pocket by Paper, the Paper Addiction. So you've got a pocket there, one on the side, and then one on the back. And then the other side will have different ones as well. So oh, that was very fun. This is just using your leftover bits when you've done some uh, paper punching with your punches there so you don't scrub out your bits you can still use them in your work I love how the coffee stain came out this is just using some tracing paper and I just kind of wanted to make a pocket something a little different again with the little flip outs here this is just a double pocket in the center and this could al always be the flip up ones but I just left those as is and again with these this is a tag from J9 scraps I will link her shop below and it's just like a little punch out um, bottom make a little pocket with it um, I've attached it with a paper clip but all this you could glue together or stitch it and then it would just make like a, a tag within a tag kind of thing and torn paper edge this one here um, again a long time ago so it's a pocket on the top it flips out you can journal in it there's a pocket and then when you remove the clip you can use full pages so you can use both sides I think again I saw Paula Lemon do this a long time ago but don't quote me on that it's just not my idea and then this is the other side of that um, triple pocket that I showed you guys which I thought was super cool and then here we've got another belly band just with decorative piece on, on the top of it. And then another repurposed envelope with a pocket there, there, and then on the side. And here is a pocket uh, with uh, a bookmark that I made from leftover Kleenex or tissue top. So I collaged on that. This is a tag that I did a little bit of decoupage with a napkin, so I thought I would share that. And of course the embellished paper clip, or the altered paper clip I should say. This is another collage I did on an envelope a while back, so I thought that was a good idea with a wallpaper pocket. And this I've done, um, I did a while back as well, and this is using those um, photo albums, those little photo albums. I just rip out a page and then attach it so that you can stick things in it. This is one of those envelopes, sorry, yeah, the envelopes made with the um, book pages as you can see and I've stitched it and made some pockets and collaged on it as well. And then this one I got in Happy Mail and it is an ATC card as you can see that has been collaged on. And now these envelopes, this one I was trying a little while back with some fabric and I wanted to make it grungy and you know kind of very vintage looking so I think I'll be making sets of these I'm not sure I haven't quite continued with it but I might might do that getting my uh, inspiration back this here has my floating wallpaper pockets I love using wallpaper to make pockets and um, I've got so much of that as well so it's kind of nice to uh, to do something and that was uh, stitched this I got in happy mail like it's an envelope again with um, I think it's uh, collaged on it I'm not quite sure uh, here is uh, I made these a long time ago as well with some uh, 
um, transparencies that I uh, added the images to with some vintage wallpaper. The page in the back, you can color that in, so that's something else that I've done. And then this one is just a, a fake little envelope that I thought was really cute as well. So again, a lot of these are not my ideas, but it's ideas that I've seen and or things that I've sort of tailored for my own work. This is a side pocket here and then another tuck up here or another pocket up there. This one is like little clusters of things. I have been making those recently too. So those are cute with fabric and paper, etc. Another collaged um, tag inspired by Miss Roxy Creations. And then here, just a little tuck with a wallpaper piece. Um, again, this one over on this end is, um, you normally would glue the top and bottom to make a pocket and then it opens up for writing. But because this is like a flow journal style, things move around, so I just paper clipped it. And you can also do that, so it makes a pocket. And then this is a collage envelope that I did a while back as well. I just made a photocopy of it because I sent that one out. And then this is just another little collage that I did on leftover paper. I guess it was another tissue box. So here you can make a pocket, a belly band. So just some more ideas with this. So I think I've got one more coming up and that's it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my ideas journal share. I will be starting another one because this one's quite full. And uh, maybe I'll show you guys the process of putting that one together. Let me know what you think. Do you want to see me put a journal together? Um, it may not be a flowish. It might be. It might just be a very easy journal that you can do if you haven't done one before. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I will be coming back with some craft with me videos like you guys have asked me to do. So um, probably embellishing pages, making um, pieces, ephemera for our journals, etc. Let me know what you think in the comments below and thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you next time.